subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is gene therapy gene therapy now one main application of biotechnology in medicine is gene therapy gene therapy allows correction of a gene defect diagnosed in a child or in the embryo or you can say it is replacing a faulty gene with a normal healthy functional gene means a functional gene is introduced into the cells or tissues of the patient to treat the disease now this introduced gene then starts behaving as the normal gene taking over function of the normal gene hence treating the patient the first clinical gene therapy was given to a 4 year old girl child with ada deficiency in 1990 ada deficiency means in these patients adenosine deaminase enzyme is not formed which damages the immune system leading to skid disease skid disease is severe combined immunodeficiency the ada deficiency gene responsible for skid disease is an autosomal recessive gene it is a rare defect and it has developed due to deletion of ada gene and this is a single gene defect that can be rectified by gene therapy adenosine deaminase enzyme is present in the lymphocyte a type of wbc that protects the cell from pathogens now these lymphocytes are synthesized by the stem cells of the bone marrow the lymphocytes then get specialized to form t cell and b cell t cells are formed in the thymus now these t cells they destroy the pathogen infected cells while the b cells they produce antibodies that neutralize the foreign substances now due to absence of adenosine deaminase enzyme the functional lymphocytes are not formed hence affecting the immune system or the body is unable to respond to foreign pathogens now the skid disease can be cured by gene therapy now in gene therapy lymphocytes from the blood of the patient they are isolated and cultured outside the patient's body now these are the lymphocytes that have been extracted from the patient's body they are cultured outside the patient's body a functional ada gene means a gene that can code for adenosine deaminase enzyme is introduced into these lymphocytes as cdna that is complementary dna by using retrovirus as the vector now the retrovirus is used to introduce the functional 
ADA gene into the lymphocytes so that these ADA gene can be in, integrated into the genome of the lymphocytes. These treated lymphocyte cells or the genetically engineered lymphocyte cells, they are then injected black back into the body of the patient. Now since these lymphocytes are immortal, means they too have a life period after which they are destroyed, a periodic infusion of genetically engineered lymphocytes are needed. Regular infusion of the genetically engineered lymphocytes are needed as the lymphocytes are immortal. Now as lymphocytes are immortal, a periodic infusion is needed so that is not a permanent cure. For a permanent cure, the genetic defect should be de detected in the embryonal stage. And these genetically engineered cells should be introduced into the cells of the embryo. Besides gene therapy, the other treatment given to a ADA patient is bone marrow transplantation and enzyme replacement therapy. In enzyme replacement therapy, the adenosine deaminase enzyme is regularly given an intravenous infusion. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.